Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and today you're joining me in the Banana Box studio for one of my little to the camera chats and really I suppose in this video all I really want to say is I think I'm actually happy in a way that I've never been happy before and it's only in the last couple of days that I've truly examined and realised this when talking to one of my friends about how I've posted so few videos in the last couple of weeks and even in the last two weeks I think the only video I've posted was the one talking about the launch of the Shropshire Canal Cat, available for Kindle now. Um, anyway, uh, it really is an indicator I think that I'm actually, for the first time in a long, long time, just properly happy and content simply being, rather than in the past, because let's be realistic here, it's not like I haven't been a very happy person over my life, and I haven't lived a very enjoyable life with loads of great experiences. I've got to hold my hands up, I'm incredibly lucky. Um, but also, when I actually look and think, I'm actually happy now, just being. I wake up in the morning, I'm not worried, oh, got to get this done, got to get this done. Whereas in the past, a lot of my happiness, I think, has depended on that consistent and constant, oh, got to do the next thing, what's the next thing? And it's been that constant chase rather than actually being happy in the moment. Now, that's not necessarily a universal thing, obviously, but I think now, looking at it and seeing how I'm not constantly like, oh, got to get this video done, got to get that video done. And I actually post videos that I want to post to YouTube when I want to post them and actually enjoy it 10 times more than when I was getting loads of crazy viewing figures and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's an interesting thing, really. And as I say, to have only posted one video that was a book promotion in the last two weeks or so is... It's such a change, as you know. I mean, towards the end of Boat Life, I started the Ultimate Boat Basics series where I did a video every day for a month. And, uh, well, again, um, unbelievable stuff, really, to try and sustain that level. So, yeah, when I actually look at things now, it's a gradual thing, and it's all moderation, I suppose, that's played into this. Whereas in the past, I thought, oh, yeah, I'm I'm like, I mean, way, way in the past. It's like, oh, I'm a gamer and that's what I do. And I had all these consoles and all this stuff going on. Just infinite amounts of possessions, basically. And that's all I did with my time. Then I thought, no, I'm an outdoors person. And, oh, yeah, you've got to have a few things. And, oh, yeah, just living simply and getting outside. That's happiness. And then now I think as... My life sort of come to a happy medium where I'm lucky enough to live in a beautiful place very comfortably. As I say, top of a beautiful old building, views across the town and out over the hills and looking to where I can pick out where I used to moor up my boat and stuff like that. Um, I'm very lucky to be here and I'm lucky to also have arrived here after the experience of living so simply and so bare bones on the boat for four years to really make me appreciate what I've got now in a way that I don't think I would have done had I have just come straight to live in here or had I have not had some of those very chilly nights waking up and having to relight the fire on the boat and not having to cycle X amount of miles in and out of work in the rain and all that sort of stuff. Again, it's all fascinating, fantastic experiences to have had. Even the bad things helped make boat life even better when the good times are rolling. Although there weren't really many bad times, let's be fair. Um, minor, minor annoyances, maybe. But, yeah, I think that now, basically, everything's all finally coming together. And I've got an actual proper experience of living on my own on dry land, as well as my totally opposite bare bones life on narrowboat Tilly and I can actually take a proper look at those experiences already and go well this is this is the the middle way this is the the nice happy medium and it's a strange thing to actually wake up in the morning and be like right I've got this writing that I want to do I've got these videos that I want to do and I don't know what else oh I'm gonna run up and do the school run with me friend or something random like that um it's it's just something that now, instead of being, oh no, I've got to get this done. Oh no, I've got to get these videos done. Oh no, the book's, ew, I'm running late with the book. Instead, it's like, well, this is what I'm doing. 
and this is how long it's going to take and we'll see what happens at the end of it. And when I think uh, particularly back to last year when I cancelled the release of that one book, or did I, um, it's a strange thing to think now how my life's been since the start of 2017 where I've done more writing than I have done even when I was on the boat. It's uh, it, it's I cannot believe how much I've enjoyed writing this year. I really cannot tell you. And even though I know I'm never going to be a millionaire off the back of all, any of this stuff, but it's something I enjoy so much. And even something like the Shropshire Canal Cat, which will never sell any crazy numbers. Let's not, let's not get carried away here. But even if like 100 or 200 people read that book in the next year, I've enjoyed writing it so much and sitting down with me Nan going through it all and literally having these crazy conversations about, well, that doesn't really seem like the sort of terms a cat would describe something with. Uh, it's it's just been a very educational, it's been a very, very educational book writing, the latest one. And stuff as well, like uh, getting the paperback book sorted at long last. Things like that, that... It, actually seeing that book come together and actually holding a paperback book with six of my short books in it and actually seeing it and the sheer amount of writing that that actually makes up in all of those pages it's again it's something that it might not mean anything to anybody else but to me just holding that book and saying yeah I did that and I enjoyed doing it that's it's personally it means a huge amount to me. Don't get me wrong, I can't tell you how much, even if nobody ever read it. And again, the fact that people actually uh, got me to send them signed copies and stuff, that, again, is unbelievable. So thank you. Just thank you. Um, anyway, I've got really, really off topic here. I was planning at this point to have been well into talking about more deep happiness things. Uh, anyway, what's next? So hopefully, if we can actually get some decent weather, we've gone in the UK from about a week, maybe two weeks ago, having the hottest day in the summer since the 1970s, to literally having some proper cold days. I mean, I've got the heating on in the flat right now, and my nose is still a little bit red from standing out on the balcony in the cold air. At the end of June, this is. This should be the height of summer. But yeah, it's been drizzling, it's been days of rain, and it's very, very cold. Unbelievable. So yeah, I was planning to have a few more videos, admittedly, of the outdoors and all that stuff. But unfortunately, the weather has suddenly gone to the middle of autumn from the middle of summer. Um, but yeah, anyway, I will be doing more of my local sort of videos of local curiosities and things like that, because that's something that I really enjoy doing and I feel it's got some significance and some importance to, as I say, try and record all of these different places and record all of these different little stories and little moments of life in Shropshire and here on the border with Wales at this particular moment and hopefully preserving that for generations to come and as I've said, seeing some of the ruins and some of the local things that have crumbled and disappeared in the woods and that just over the years that I've been out and about wandering around the countryside. It's important, I feel, to try and get those recorded now, as you never know, in another 10 years, they might not be there at all. So that's something I'm going to continue to do. Um, and also, I'm going to start the uh, the World According to Dan series of videos, which is going to be me talking about random different topics and just sharing my views on different things. Um, not a massive sort of contentious political thing or anything like that, just a, a light-hearted chat sharing my worldview on different bits and bobs and things like money and simple lives and happiness and all sorts of, well, just all sorts of random topics. And hopefully that'll shed some light on how I am or why I am the way I am, so to speak. Um, and that's something that I really want to do just because I've never done anything proper like that, actually proper talking about my thoughts and my proper opinions about the world and what's going on in it. Um, it's not going to be controversial, as I say, it's not going to be some massive thing like that. But I think I want to do that really because if I do take a proper full YouTube retirement, I'd quite like to know that there's some actual 
there's something of me out there a little bit more than how I've always said my videos I may be the one talking over the top of them but they're all really about the outdoors and about boats and boating and boat life or about the countryside about this place about that place and so I think just in case I do take my YouTube retirement it'd be nice to be able to look back in years to come as I've said with different videos to say oh yeah you can't believe I used to think like that or I can't believe I used to believe that and maybe I'll go oh flipping heck Dan Brown had it right all those years ago what's this Dan Brown doing now in the present anyway oh man this has been a terrible video I can only apologize thank you so much for absolutely everything over the years um yeah this channel is definitely gonna see more well, of the same. <laughs> There's no other way to word it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Whew, I'm getting hot and bothered now. It's too hot in the flat. What's going on? Turn that radiator off. Anyway, thank you so much for absolutely everything. I, even just this video, how much more relaxed and just a bit stupid is it? <laughs> so, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Check out the links in the description for all of my usual bits and pieces. Facebook, the Facebook pages, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all of that stuff. And of course, please do consider checking out my short books about my life on the canal and the latest book, which is a short story about a hapless cat who finds himself trapped on a narrowboat and going off on an unexpected adventure and having to try and find his way back home. That's the Shropshire Canal Cat. Links in the description. Have an absolutely wonderful day. And until the next time, my friends, keep it interesting, and of course, farewell.